nether dimension. Yo, what's going on? It's someone that's no one, and welcome back to today's report. Today's report was sent in by Nathan. The drugs used, dextromethorphan and nicotine, at a dose of 700 milligrams, the route administration, orally, gender, male, weight, 135 pounds, age, 17. For his prior experience, he notes Adderall and Vyvanse abuse, Dramamine, 600 milligrams, 15 or so marijuana highs, many to the point where I greened out, occasional alcohol, DPH of about 400 milligrams, and DXM, 300 milligrams. His set, he experiences dissociation in his normal life and the setting at home mostly. Okay, so today we have another DXM report, this one being at a fairly high dose considering Nathan's weight. At 700 milligrams, this would have put him at a strong third plateau, which, even though he does have a good amount of prior experience going into this, he ends up being hit hard and has a physical reaction. Nathan starts off by taking 200 milligrams, then a couple hundred at a time, and his trip does start off really well and favorable for him, but once he finishes dosing, he ends up in a mess. He gets hives all over, ends up itchy, sweating profusely, has a fast heart rate, and on top of all the dissociative effects, like strong double vision, lost sense of time, and lost sense of feeling. Nathan felt like he was going to die basically, and even considered telling his mom because it was so bad. Nathan goes into this, looking to learn more about the feelings of dissociation, and while he does get this partially, he ends up learning much more about the risk of taking high DXM doses. I'm sure you enjoy this one, so without further ado, let's dive right into this. It was an overcast cool fall Wednesday, the first day of Thanksgiving break. The weekend before I had bought three bottles of Robitussin gel caps and intended to do a high dose sometime over break. Prior experience with DXM was about 300 milligrams a week or so before. I have a history of mental and emotional dissociation, which I mostly overcome, but occasionally I'd relapse and detecting them was always hard because of the nature of dissociation. The prospect of inducing dissociation came to me so I can learn more about it, so that I could realize when I was doing it, it intrigued me. My mother is disabled and works from home, so I knew I wouldn't have to worry about her too much, and my little brother usually plays video games, so I decided that day would be a good day to trip. Hard. 9am. Ate a decent sized breakfast and dosed about 200 milligrams. Waited about an hour and a half and felt a strange like dream state start to come over me. 10.30 a.m. Dosed another 200 milligrams and listened to some music. The dreamy echoing harmony of psychedelic rock washes over me in waves. My body felt like it was losing feeling, but in a warm, pleasant way. 11.30 a.m. By now, I had dosed another 100 milligrams and the trip was intensifying. I found I could still walk and decided to go on a hike in the woods near my house. For 30 minutes, I wandered in awe at the beauty of nature around me. All sensation of self and physical body had left, and I was a spirit, flowing through nature to the soundtrack of Dan Mason's Hypnagogia. A fresh hit of nicotine put me on my ass, and I watched a leaf float towards me on the wind. I experienced joy and hope like I was a little kid. It felt like nature blessed me with a gift. A leaf of grace before my final descent into madness. 12 p.m. Stumbled back into my house. An ominous and dark feeling surrounded me. I sat in my closet, staring at the 200 milligrams I was about to take. Down the final dose and stumbled downstairs. I don't remember walking through the door or laying on the couch, but the Christmas lights each shined like individual suns, and the unfinished ceiling of my basement warped extremely. A blanket of purple filtered my vision, and for a split second, I thought I was in Minecraft, traveling into the nether dimension. Next thing I realize is that I'm lying in my bed, violently itching every inch of my body. I had broken out in hives. I was sweating profusely, and my heart rate sounded like someone was banging on the walls of my house extremely fast. My body was nothing. There was no feeling or sensation in any of my limbs. 
moving was entirely on instinct, and my vision felt a couple of seconds lag behind reality. Permanent double vision had set in, and it was sharp and clear. I considered telling my mother that I was dying. She's my only family member I trust and love besides my brother. I decided to wait it out. The concept of emotions and dying was so foreign to me, I forgot about everything in my life. I lay for what seemed like an eternity in my bed with no clue what I am, who I am, or where I am. All sense of the world and my body had left me. I was at the music and sounds of Chamber of Evaporation by Mac DeMarco, evaporating into waves of color and disorientation. 6 p.m. I feel well enough to stand, and as soon as I stand up, I feel perfectly sober. A little tired like I had waken up from a nap. I was extremely warm, and the emotional afterglow was spectacular. For the rest of the night, I hung out with friends and family and acted normal. I learned exactly what I wanted to from this trip, but also much about the dangers of high doses. I handled it well for the little amount of experience I have. I haven't wanted to DDX some sense, but I'm not afraid of it, and know that in the future, I may visit the nether once again.